Scribe a line on both surfaces that you're about to dovetail. Position your dovetails and then block all your work together and scribe everything across so that everything's exactly the same. When you use your tenon saw you're going to cut in from one face as far as you can see. Notice I'm only cutting to the top because that's all I can see from that side. Then you turn it around and you cut what you can see from the other side. Once your two cuts line up, then you can bring the cut down evenly to the base of the dovetail. Once you've done that, you can take the coping saw, tilt the blade on a 90 degree angle and remove most of the waste, leaving about 1-2mm to two millimeters at the base. In this case we're cutting a mitre on the front faces and again we cut from one side and then cut from the other, always cutting only what we can see trying to halve the line when we do it. Notice right now we're cutting the pins so we're going to remove the waste where the dovetails will enter. So you need to make sure that you are on the right side of the line when you're making the cut. If you're not, you'll be one cut of accuracy out. Same applies, we've turned the piece around and now we're cutting from the face side. Then we'll take the coping saw once again and remove the waste. I have a piece of masking tape on the handle of my coping saw that just stops my hand slipping off the end. Once you've completed all the cutting, then you have to do the fine cutting with a good sharp chisel. I normally cut down deep from the face side first, and then turn it around and cut down from the inside of the joint. Especially using soft timber, if you're going to get a hole or an imperfection in your join, it's going to happen on the second cut. Finally, take another sharp chisel and clean out any little bits that you might have missed. Just working into halfway and then turning the piece around and cutting in from there other side. 
if your join isn't perfect you can run your saw through the join through the mitre and make it perfect using the multi router we're cutting out the tenons which are through tenons I've gone along first and made the larger tenon making sure that it's 12.5 millimeters and then we're cutting the waste out in between Place. You're going to have to give it some thought in the assembly because there's joints that need to be put together before other joints and make sure you plan your assembly. Good idea to use epoxy glue so it gives you plenty of drying time and less panic time when you're gluing. I've hot glued on some corners just to make the gluing of this mitre a little easier and we'll be adding biscuits in that join. I hand planed that join the mitre before it was assembled to get it as snug and perfect as I could. Obviously the glue blocks will come off afterwards. Notice the support in the uh, back of the shelf holding it up and another one at the top now. That's it for now and uh, good luck in making this project, it will be tricky. Cheers.